Hello everybody, welcome back, Mr. K here. Today, I want to talk about responsible riding. I know, you guys probably don't want to hear this because you're saying, well, what's the point of responsible riding? It's not fun. Well, I'd like to uh, put my two cents in on that and say that's not true. So the five steps to responsible riding. Here you go, guys. So number one is speed. Now. I'm not saying you can't go out and you know go a little bit over, over the speed limit. I'm not, I'm not going. I'm not going to tell you how fast you should or should not go. But speed is a very, very, very important thing because most people, if they don't know how to handle speed properly, they will get themselves hurt, and even worse, they might hurt someone else in the process. So understanding speed and where you are going to use it basically is a big thing in my mind. So, when I'm talking about speed, I'm talking about not going down the highway, uh, you know, if your sp posted speed limit is, let's say, 70 miles an hour, um, don't be doing 95, 100, 200, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Try and follow the laws to the best of your ability without being completely um, reckless. That's what I mean by speed. Number two is no attitude you know take away the attitude from riding just because you ride doesn't mean that people have to give you special treatment you have to treat other vehicles on the road just as you want to be treated and to me i don't treat other vehicles differently on a motorcycle than i would in a car i ride it differently i i don't drive the way i ride and that's because the motorcycle is just simply i'm not going to do this i'm sure as heck not going to be doing this with my car but with the bike it's fun so see i can still have fun without being reckless am i being reckless no nothing behind me nothing in front of me so no i'm not being reckless i'm just playing around with my bike you can't bring an attitude to to riding you know you are not different from all the other vehicles on the road you're not exempt from the rules or people shouldn't have to give you special treatment because you are on a bike number three Whew. know your place and what i mean by know your place is be aware of the simple fact that you are a motorcycle at the end of the day you are invisible so know your place don't expect people to see you make sure they see you because if you take the initiative to make sure that you're seen you don't have to worry about whether or not that person saw you or not if that doesn't make sense or it needs further explanation leave a comment below and i'll try and give you a better explanation number four is skill now this applies to both car and motorcycle but number four is skill because you got to be realistic and understand your skill you can't just say you know, uh, I've been riding for three months and I know everything about the bike. I'm all of a sudden going to be able to do whatever I want and go to get on a track and, and I'll be number one first. Uh, you know, I'll be first in everything. No, understand your skill and understand that no matter what, what you think you know, there's always a lot more to know. It's very, very important, guys. When you learn how to, where your skill level is, uh, you're just going to get that much better number five that would be your bike understanding your bike knowing what your bike is gonna do you're not gonna understand this if you just bought your bike I don't care if you've been riding forever every new bike that you buy is gonna have something different it's gonna react a certain way maybe it's not as tight maybe it's not as loose so understanding your bike is ridiculously important so understand it work at it practice don't think just because you did something today tomorrow you don't have to practice it you have to practice every day all the time the more you practice the better you're gonna get but don't tell yourself that you can take a turn at 70 miles an hour um, every time 
because the turns are not every time the same. Oh boy, here we go. Oh shit, that's no fun. I hate rear roll tracks. So the turns are never the same, guys. Every turn is different, right? You're braking. All these things, they have so many different impacts on the, on a motorcycle. So never ever think that you've learned all there is to learn about a motorcycle. Learn as much as you can, adapt, and understand that your motorcycle is an extension of you. So you can't just, uh, you know, that goes back to number four. You have to understand your skills just as much. Yeah, sorry, you have to understand your skills and on the same note, you must understand how to use your skills with the bike and the bike itself is straightforward in many many ways. Try to never forget that the motorcycle can ride itself better without you. Um, it's designed to just go. It's designed to stay up, right? It's going on its own. So my input if I decide to just push this side a little bit, it's going to change the motorcycle the way it's going to act. So understand that. Understand that just because you have a motorcycle, it doesn't mean that your skill level, you can, you can max out your skill level. It doesn't mean anything. You still have to understand your motorcycle. And if you understand that, guys, you'll be all good to go. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And then I will see you guys next time. As always, we love ya. Goodbye. See ya. It is absolutely freezing right now. What am I doing out here? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm riding my bike.